this is grown talk, folks talk, man. So we're just gonna kick it. And we're gonna take it one step at a time. You know how, you know, men and women, they both look at social media, but you know, they looking at it on the different ways from different views, you know what I mean? Like, I'm gonna speak on right now why women look at uh, social media and why men look at social media from my point of view. Women look at social media because, you know, they're like stylists, they're like publicists, <laughs> you know what I mean? Meaning women look at the social media and they say, oh, damn, look at these glasses, okay, damn. Okay, those Versace, okay, they call such and such, you know what I mean? Then they look, oh, look at the hat, mm, the hat such and such, that cost. And you know, women is, is watching, you know what I mean? To see how the brother is conducting himself, to see how he's doing financially, you know what I mean? In the world, you know what I'm saying? That's how women is judging the brothers that they looking at, you understand? But now, you know, as they looking at them for that, they saying, damn, okay, I wonder what's his credit score. And they looking at all these different type of things as they looking, you know? But then now the men on the other side, now we looking, all we want to see is a fat ass. <laughs> you know what I mean? We don't want to see nothing else but a fat ass. So all that other small talk, we're not trying to really hear all that, man. You know what I mean? We're just trying to see a fat ass. You know what I mean? And, you know, men is thinking, damn, can I hit that? You understand? When the women is thinking, damn, can I bag him into a relationship? He looked like he's successful. You understand what I'm saying? He looked like he's a banker, a lawyer, a doctor. So I got to figure out how to bag him. You know what I mean? That's what a woman is thinking when she's looking at the social media, you know, checking you out, gentlemen. So, you know, she looking at the whips and nigga driving. You understand what I'm saying? I mean, you know, they, they, they want to see what we driving. You know, they want to see what we wearing diamonds wise, you know, you know, gear, you know, every little thing a woman want to know. You know what I mean? Because they're inquisitive like that. You understand what I'm saying? The women want to do what they do. And, uh, you know, ain't nothing wrong with that. But now the men, let's get back to us, man. We real simple. Like I said, all we want to see is ass ladies. We don't care if it's in jeans, skirt, dress, backed up, thongs, whatever. Just let niggas see some ass. That's all a nigga want to see on social media. I mean, you know, nigga want to see if you, you, you know what I mean? Want to fantasize a little bit. I think, damn, she had a good motherfucking needle job on that joint. You know what I mean? Or oh, damn, she must run up the stairs a lot. She got good thighs. You know what I mean? <laughs> You know, so you know these are the things that we looking at, man. You know, mm, she like a gymnast; they might be able to put her leg around her neck. Hey, you know what I mean? I mean, these are the thoughts that go through our mind. So you know, y'all know. You know what I mean? I mean, now when it's time to get in the bed, here comes the next part. Now it's time to get in the bed, and you got the female. They want to cuddle. They want to touch on you, rub your six pack, your little abs. You know what I mean? And play all these little fondling games when you know. A nigga just did a bone and get sucked or whatever and keep it moving. And that's it. All that touching, fondling, and dragging this out. You know what I mean? We ain't into all that, man. You know what I mean? Nice breasts and a fat ass. And we good. We Gucci. Prada. You know what I mean? Coach. All that. And we might even get you a bag. <laughs> you know what I mean? But, I mean, let's just keep it 100, man. You know? So now we laying down and the woman, she want to get touchy, feel he want to do all this. All nigga want to do is bone. Bong, 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 bong. That's it. Oh, this other small talk, you ain't trying to wait for that, man. You know what I mean? Nigga just trying to bang something. You know what I mean? So, you know, y'all want to know, ladies, so you know where our heads is at. So why y'all laying down, you rubbing nigga chest, you ask nigga sweets, nothings. You understand what I'm saying? Wanting to hear the nothings. We just want to bang it out. You know what I'm saying? Just like, you know, when the sex is over, a woman is thinking that now they're in a relationship with you. You know what I mean? A woman thinking she's in a relationship after you bust a nut. You know what I mean? Like I said, this is grown folks talk, so we're not even going to play no games. <laughs> you know what I mean? A woman thinks she's in a relationship after she busts a nut. Okay? Now, gentlemen, you already know. Once the nut is bust, what's that? Shit is gone. The feeling is gone. That everything is gone. Let's keep it moving to the next conquest. I mean, that's how, you know, I mean, that's how I was when I was younger. So let, let's keep it real. I'm a little older now. I meet you at the bar, I take you home, I bone you, and now you get it real good. You know what I mean? And now all of a sudden, because I treated you real nice at the bar, you know what I mean? Even took you out to get something to eat in the morning. You know what I'm saying? I done did all that. So now that I done did that, and then here you go. Now after we bust it up, you think that we're in a relationship. You know what I mean? Ladies, when y'all meet a dude, y'all just like us. Let's not play these games. Y'all meet a dude, first thing you think is, damn, I'll the shit out that nigga. 
You know what I mean? Oh, I know he could work. Look how he moving on the dance floor. These are all the things that go through a woman's mind. You understand? Just like we'd be like, damn, she like she might have been in gymnastics when she was growing up. Or at least a Turks Aquarian or something. You know, one of them modern African dances or something. She got to be able to throw that leg in certain places that we can't even phantom. You understand what I'm saying? But these are the things that we're thinking. You understand what I'm saying? And y'all are thinking the same thing. But now we got the balls. Well, I know I got the balls to just say, look, I'm trying to bone. Let's go. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? You turning me on. I'm trying to hit that. I mean, I mean, that's how I do. You know what I mean? But now, you know what I mean? Y'all want a nigga to play these little romantic fake games. I mean, fake games. <laughs> you know what I mean? Come up on you, talking about yo, uh, you know, what's your name? Where you from? Yo, look, I'm trying to bone that shit. You're trying to get this nut, I'm trying to give a nut. You know what I'm saying? I mean, that's what it is. I mean, it might be a little too real for you, a little too gully for you, but I'm just keeping it real. But then now here go the ladies, they looking at you and they thinking, mm, I know I want to do them, but I got to play by that rule. I can't give it to them on the first night. I don't want to look like a slut. I definitely want to look like a slut. But I'm going to screw this nigga so bad. Mm, mm, mm. But I'm going to hold back and play myself. Nah, I, I need to give it to him. And, you know, and y'all battling with your inner selves. You know what I mean? To decide if you can screw or not screw. You know what I'm saying? I mean, bottom line is, whether you screw tonight, tomorrow, the next week, you're going to screw. You know what I mean? And you know from looking at the nigga when you first see him, if you're going to screw. So let's stop the games and beat the punch and get to the point. You know what I mean? If you find something that you feel ain't right with the nigga or whatever, and then you want to contemplate that, play that back in your mind, make sure he's right. Or, you know, dudes, you might see them with a little dirt on the side of her feet wearing them little, uh, you know, them little slippers they wear now. Dirt all on the side of the feet, but she's standing up in front of the Jamaican joint talking about she wants oxtails. <laughs> Bitch, go home and wash your tail. <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean, that's what you really want to tell her. You understand what I'm saying? But the whole time you're saying, damn, that ass is fat, though. <laughs> you know what I mean? So this is where the brothers don't know where they're going with it. You understand what I'm saying? So they looking like, damn, look at old busted mama. I, I, man, I hope nobody ain't looking. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? So you slide up on them. You might slide a little $20 bill with your number on it or a block number on it. You know what I mean? Take a cab here. Or what y'all do now, Uber. Take an Uber, meet me over here on 17th Street. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because you don't want nobody to see this old dirty, crusty foothold, man. <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean, goddamn, man. You know what I mean? But that ass was fat to death. I mean, but ladies, see, that's how we thinking. You know what I mean? So we'll bypass certain things to get certain things, get deep up in certain things that we need to get up into to get what we need to get out of this. I mean, look, man, you don't got a fat ass. You're not washing your feet. You're wearing slippers that's rubbing on the floor all day. And you're not realizing that all on the bottom of your feet is looking crusty. You understand what I'm saying? But your ass is fat, though. You know what I mean? That's all the nigga thinking, and that's all you thinking. So you say, man, fuck that. I ain't got time to wash my feet. Too far to bend down. You know what I mean? Ain't like he dropping no dollars or nothing. You know what I mean? This is what the females are thinking. But stop it, ladies. You know what I mean? Wash your feet. You know what I mean? And keep your ass fat. You know what I'm saying? You got to make sure you're right. Because you already know y'all Y'all got us outnumbered. So it's not a lot of us to choose from. You know what I mean? So ladies, y'all got to work a little harder. I hate to be the one to let you know. Most of the brothers is dead or, 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 or in jail. You know what I mean? And it's only a handful of us still out here. You understand what I'm saying? So, I mean, I'm just letting you know what time it is, ladies. Y'all got to work a little harder, man. Wash your feet. The moral of the story is we both think in the same thing. We want the same thing, but we create or we have had created for us fake rules to tell us what to do and not to do in everything in life, including dating. I mean, damn. You understand what I'm saying? Like I said, you see a chick, you like her ass fat. You know what I mean? Feet dirty. Okay, take this $20, meet me around the corner. Don't let nobody see me. You're still going to hit it. She know her feet is dirty. She ain't got a problem walking around the corner to meet you with the $20 you just gave her. You understand what I'm saying? Because she know her ass is fat, though. You know what I mean? I'm just keeping it 100. And that's all she is. She out there getting quick nothing hope she get $20 to buy something for herself in the morning or some pampers. You understand what I'm saying? I mean, you know, no disrespect. I'm just keeping it real. You know what I mean? We just having this talk because it's grown folks talk. You understand what I'm saying? So, I mean, and that's why I respect the mother and accommodate the mother because a lot of mothers do a lot of things that they normally wouldn't do because they have a child. They do what they got to do because they know they must feed their child. You understand? So, being they know they must feed their child, I mean, they'll do certain things they wouldn't do and put themselves in compromised positions in order to feed the child. You understand what I'm saying? And that's what a good mother's about. You understand what I'm saying? And a lot of things they do in the dark, I'll pray it stay in the dark. <laughs> you know, but they took care of their kids. And that's all that matters. You understand what I'm saying? 
Because times is hard and this is what it is. We haven't grown folks told. We're not going to play no game. We're going to keep it real. You understand what I'm saying? But like I said, we always at is, you know, when, 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 when we meet somebody, you first look at them. You know if you want to have sex with them or not. You understand? You know what you want to do with them right off the bat. So it's up to you what you do. So we're not going to play these games. You know what I mean? A dude is like, yo, dude, dude, yo, yo, fellas, stop beating around a bush too and just tell the female straight up, yo, that ass is fat to death. It's 11.50. I'm trying to be home by two. So let's go get this room because it looked like I could really enjoy that ass because it is fat to death. That's how the brothers got to do. Just be straight with the women because a lot of women is like, damn. I really got to be home by 1.30. Could you knock this boots, boots out by 1.30? And then they ready to go. So don't be scared. Shoot your shot. All they could do is say yes or no. And if you lose, huh, screw it. You'll find something else tomorrow. You know what I mean? Sometimes you got to call it a dud. And sometimes you hit that home run. You know what I mean? You might even catch a chick and she'd be like, yo, you know, you're kind of cute. I know I just met you at the bar. I mean, I've been buying the drinks and I'm the female. But, you know, I got a girl that, you know, I think the two of us will enjoy you. You know what I mean? Don't panic, fellas, when that come at you, because that's going to come too. Because, I mean, I'm not the only fly nigga that can have that happen to him. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? I done been to casinos and all that and been, you know, picked up two, three women at a time. You know what time it is. I mean, that's what happened when you got flavor. You know what I mean? I know there's other brothers out there with flavor. So there's other brothers that understand and relate to what I'm saying. You know how you at the ball, you got the jewels on, things looking right, you got the toothpick in the corner of your mouth. Yeah, old school toothpick. You know what I mean? And you sitting there, you just chilling. Come on, fellas. How could you lose, man? Look at all this chocolate, man. And then when I give him the killer smile, oh, don't let me cock it to the side. You know what I mean? But I mean, that's where it's at. So the whole thing is just to have fun with it, man, and do what it do. But like I said, women, after dude busts a nut, stop thinking you're in a relationship, you're not in a relationship. You understand what I'm saying? The, 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 the courting, as they call it, <laughs> or dating is over. You understand? Bottom line. So stop thinking you're in a relationship after you get a nut the first night. You understand what I'm saying? And stop. And stop feeling like you got to hold down just because it's the first night. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm just keeping it 100, man. You know what you're going to do. So let's speed it up. You know how many good brothers you don't lost because you held out? You know what I mean? I had one or two hold out on me, and I feel they lost out. Because they should have gave it up. <laughs> you know what I mean? But they didn't, so they lost out. You follow what I'm saying? Now, this is grown folks' talks. So I hope y'all can understand where I'm coming from and feel where I'm coming from. Because this right here is some real talk. So, ladies, stop thinking you're in a relationship. You understand? After a man busts a nut, the relationship is over. Let's stop it. You know what I mean? He's going to go back to playing the Nintendo. You know what I mean? Or watching the basketball game and scratching and not drinking beer and burping and popping peanuts. I mean, come on. It's factual. I mean, that's what it is. It was a nut. You know what I mean? We don't need to associate a nut with a relationship. Men don't. I don't. You know what I mean? I think, I hope I'm speaking for many men. And for the ones I'm speaking for, I'm speaking for you. For the ones that I'm not speaking for, I apologize. I'm just keeping it 100. You understand what I'm saying? I mean, after we bust a nut, the relationship is over. Let's stop it. Stop this thing you're in a relationship. That's why we had females busting up car windows, cutting up tires. I mean, I got so tired of cut, buy, you know, buying tires, I just started buying new whips. They cut the joint, I buy a new whip and get them even from at it. You know what I mean? Now that me, I break weak and then I wind up giving them a little more and then they screw you a little harder. I mean, goddamn, so it's a win, win and lose, lose, but either way, this is what it is. You understand? Did y'all just understand what I said? Let's go over your, your head. If this went over your head, I'll slow it down and back it up for you. You understand what I'm saying? Because I don't want to go over your head. I'm just trying to get some grown folks talk to give you some game right now. If you shoot your shot with a girl and the game don't work, don't get mad. Catch another chick, shoot your shot. If that don't work, shoot another shot. You understand? If that don't work, shoot another shot. One day you'll be like unique and you'll be able to shoot your shot every time you catch something. You know what I mean? But right now, shoot your shot. You know what I mean? Because you're going to catch something because you're going to realize that you're getting flavor. You're getting flavored up, iced up, and creamed up. Nigga, we're going we gonna to knock this out. But ladies, I hope you all understand, nut does not mean relationship. After men bust a nut, relationship is done. If we could get on that page together, ladies, we will be on good terms. If we could really get on that page. So ask your man straight up, you know what I mean? Was the relationship over after you got that first nut? And if he's honest, he's going to tell you, hell yeah. You know what I mean? But that ass is fat to death, though. You know what I mean? That's why I nigga back this thing hanging out. You know what I mean? I'm just keeping it 100, man. I'm just trying to give you something different, some grown folks talk, something to go on with tonight. I ain't got no music playing or nothing. My voice is the music, and my game and my mind is the instruments. You understand what I'm saying? So we're going to tap dance and roll through this valley right here. 
You understand? So we're going to try and ooze you to sleep. When you go to sleep, you think it's something positive like that old big bug girl because you know her ass is fat to death, though. You might want to dream about that when you go home. And for you ladies, you might want to dream about that ass. Look, I know a lot of y'all like that ass of the female because that is fat to death, though. But as long as y'all understand where I'm coming from, that a relationship don't start just because a nut has been blowing up. You know, just because the nut is done don't mean relationship. If a dude don't come back, that means the relationship is all the way over. If a dude come back, that means you're doing your thing. You understand? If he come back, you're doing your thing. Let's get that right, ladies, so we understand when I say that, you know, the relationship is done. The relationship is done if the nigga don't come back. You know what I mean? But if you did your thing, he will be back. You understand what I'm saying? That's when you know that nut was right. You know what I mean? If you did your right thing, that nigga coming back. That girl coming back. If you threw her legs up over your neck, threw it in a bunk, threw it in the frog style, had the legs up over your leg, while you holding on to the floor, you understand? You all keeping up with this position? You understand what I'm saying? Legs dead up on your shoulders, and you're holding on to the floor, and you're holding the gut, and you pull it up a little bit, and you push it back down so everything pop out, and you're going deep. You go in like that, dog, it's a wrap. It's a wrap. Your ties are cut. <laughs> your windows are broke. You, you, you know what I mean? uh uh, uh. Your, 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 your young girl's mother or father is going to be called, you know what I mean? That she's seeing a married woman, a married man, you, you know what I mean? You don't know what these girls going to do after you throw them in that position. So that's why, that's why for real little fellas, when you know you got that monster, when you know you got that monster, you understand know what I'm saying? Don't give it all to them. Don't give it all to them. Give it to them good though. You know what I mean? Good though. You understand what I'm saying? Always got to give it to them good. Because you want to leave them satisfied. You want to leave them, make sure everything's cool. So when you come back, she's going to play by your rules. 